one of the trends for fall 2013 is about pop ski. It's about color, it's about fabrication, it's about tactile, it's about fair isle sweaters mixing with bright colors. Outerwear is super important, but that influence of American style in outerwear is even more important. So American heritage is like taking Ralph Lauren and marrying it with Raleigh denim. So it's taking the old American, quintessential American style and making it modern. It's about fit, it's about function, and it's about style. Day one was, was super crowded. That was amazing. That was the best show I've seen in a couple of years, so it was impressive. This has become quite an important stop. You know, I had everybody from Nordstrom stopping by, you know, all the editors um, here in New York. It's their backyard, so they're, they're always here. So you, you get a really good energy that kind of mixes with media as well as uh, commerce. So we come to this particular venue to get direction and to see what's new and what's hot, and it's really proving to be very successful for us so far these first two days. It's great for the buyers being able to not have to split up so much coming to one location. I think it was executed really well. It's done very tastefully. This is the first time I've come to Project NYC and I think it's terrific. We've had a great walk through this morning. Lots of tremendous brands being shown here and great opportunities. You can see everything here. It's edited. I get a good overview of the whole market. So it's dramatically easier. I like the whole maid section again. Like yeah, I think it's like the third or fourth time projects we've made. And it's interesting to see people making teas and making leather goods and making bags. And this new generation of, of creators is what's making the industry exciting. Project NYC 2013 has really impressed me. It's, uh, I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing what you guys do with Project Las Vegas as well.